All right. Speaking of games that people fall in the holes of, Mal, what is your topic? Well, I uh, last Friday I picked up the new Fire. Well, I say new Fire Emblem Echoes: Shadows of Valencia. Oh, you picked that up, huh? Yeah, it's a remake of the second Fire Emblem's game, Fire Emblem Gaiden, which never came out in the U.S. Kept it for themselves. Well, what, yeah, as they did for many Fire Emblem games for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So apparently they kept the uh, remake, the second remake they did. That came out. I just found that out earlier. This is the third remake they've done, and the oh, second wow. one came Ooh. out for the DS, but didn't come up over here. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, so it's a twenty-five a remake, a complete remake of a twenty-five-year-old game, which kind of shows. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything ages. <laughs> yep. I mean, the the uh, new graphics and animations are real are great, and like it's that stuff has been polished. The biggest, I'll say right now, the biggest, the worst part about the game is they didn't touch the maps, which everyone says are the worst in the entire series. So yeah, you've got to deal bad. with the worst maps in the entire series again. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. All right, so what's the game about now? The story is very basic. It's your typical Fire Emblem fair. It's Warring Kingdoms. You've got two protagonists, and I actually really like the duality. Uh, like, you get to play as two separate armies as you go through, which is pretty cool. You've got Alm, who is the t- your very typical sh- like shonen protagonist. He is... A farm boy from a small village. Yep, <laughs> who becomes a hero. He oh. is super honorable oh and my God. can inspire armies and nations what? at the drop of a hat. What? Please. This sounds like the perfect character. I don't understand what you guys are complaining about. Right, no no downside except that he wants to save everybody. Your what? typical Fire Emblem character. I'm sorry, but this um, sounds like a perfectly well-developed character right. that does not show age of any uh, time. Uh, and then you've got uh, Celica, who is the other protagonist. And she is a princess hidden away um, due to, like, rebellion and stuff going on. Uh, that's a common one, too, actually, I think. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, that. like, um, she's a bit, she's colder and more reserved, which shows more uh, duality between the two. She want, And she's the, she's kind of naive with, and uh, she wants to solve everything with peace, if possible. Yeah. So. Yeah, Alm is all about fighting what's in front of them, whereas Selka kind of, like, tries to see the bigger picture. We always don't have to, like, rush into everything here to solve our problems. Almost, Almost like, like why I'm not? gonna stab it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so so the game kind of, like, the game starts as you both being children. It kind of introduces you to them, because Selka is basically hiding in Alm's home, home village, of Ram Village. Yeah. And basically, her father at the beginning of the game is... Was he killed in the past, or he dies right then? I can't remember. Mm, I think it was shortly before the start. Yeah, that's so, why she's in hiding. Yep, that's why she's in hiding because obviously she's the last heir to the throne. People could kill her and take the throne for themselves. So she's basically rescued by an old knot named Mason, who is also Alm's grandfather. And basically, a rogue band of knots ends up stumbling upon the village and seeing Selica. And they recognize a, a mark on her hand that lets them know that she's a member of the royalty of that nation. You would and think they would just cover that shit up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, wear a glove. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> well, they do, they do later on. <laughs> yeah. But as kids, they don't. And so she basically, the knot guy comes and uh, your grandfather comes and like saves you from the knot. Yeah, this is drop, all the prologue, basically. Yeah. You, help the drop, you help drop them off and then. Basically, like, her and Alm have a crush on each other as kids, and then she has to, like, go oh, off and right. hiding, and Alm doesn't understand anything about, because he doesn't know she's a princess, yeah, or any of this stuff, and he's, like, super confused, and they make a promise to find each other one day. Yeah. The kind of whole crux of the plot from that point revolves around that Alm being in typical uh, protagonist form, all, like, half the women just love him on <laughs> What? No, this sounds. Well, it's not like half of them. It's like half it's like, of it's like seventy-five. Single... Half half is such a strong word. Let's just say fifty-five percent. Half <laughs> of the single women you get on your team are in love with him. <laughs> There's two of them, Mal. Right. Two. That is half of the single women half. on your team. She's so, not wrong. 
<laughs> no, there's no, there's tons of them. No, there are four think, single women on Alm's team. There, and then there are two others that are in relationships with others. There's Matilda is in a relationship. The Delphia who becomes the wife. Tanya is in a relationship. There's yep. Delphi. Delphi is not one, right? Let's see. Uh, Faye is obviously one. Yep. Claire. She's in love with him. Claire. And Claire, Claire is, is in love also, with him. Her and Gray story kind of like. Right. I'm just saying, like. And who's the other ones? Uh, the waifu wars begins. There's the it's uh, fire um, emblem, so that's what you get. <laughs> yep. The uh, uh, the the priestess. She's the other single one. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, in his army, I think. Yeah, well, I think there's Selka, other. Selka has the same thing so, too, though. Right? Question. Hold on. Like, I, I got. There's two guys. It's not like as explicit, but there's some right. guys you can kind of tell. Like, yeah, her. all of Faye's personality is I love all. Of them. Even her yeah. other social link is, oh, you don't want to talk about, or no, I don't even want to yeah, talk about all with you because I just want to go off and think about all. Of them. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. So bad. So, question for you beyond uh, the waifu wars that never seems to die for these games, um, <laughs> Weapon Triangle. Is this, uh, is this one of the games where so, like Weapon Triangle really wasn't existent, or this What's was? This time? is a. Um, this game is an outlier for like all. Yeah, fire it's like, like your typical second game in a like a Japanese RPG franchise. The second one's always like the really weird game for some yeah. reason. They don't have the weapon triangle, which is like rock paper scissors. Where uh, what is it? It's um, swords beat. Swords beat, beat, axe, beat axe, lance. Axe beat lance beats uh, sword. Yeah, sword. I miss it. I mean, it's fine without it, but I think it's so integral, and they went through the trouble of adding axes to the game, they but didn't add the tr- weapon triangle. That it just feels a little weird. So, like, do characters then have like defensive stats that actually kind of define how much damage they're going to take, or do you just kind of yeah, put yeah. them with the best? Everyone sword? has. Yeah. It's more straight up. Like, you need to look when you're playing the game. You need to look at your attack. It'll tell you in the bar. You will say you get you have this attack. You have at times two if you get double attacks, and this character has this much defense so it's all about like comparing yeah. attack versus defense, defense minus attack is damage yeah. bows are still good attack against minus. like uh no that's an ability is it so, really yep weapons in this one they don't have the dur- dur- durability from like older final uh fire emblem games but you can only equip you can only each person can only hold one thing a weapon or some other item and weapons confer skills or weapons and like shields and some rings they confer a skill or multiple skills, even like, um, yeah, because yeah, you level iron... up and put stats in them. Like, basically, the more you use the weapon, I think they, yeah, like, you uh, can unlock they have like an ability bar, basically. Uh, it might actually be an advanced class ability, too. I can't remember. Yeah, it could be. I just but, have, yeah. a, I have like a general, like, just from the other games, like, I don't get my flyers anywhere near Pokemon. Yeah, you can send, well, they generally have, I think, lower defense, or at least a lot of them do, but you can send they them do. into bows without like getting monstrously yeah bows can also uh counter from yeah from uh, adjacent squares in this game as long as it's not the longbow but yeah, yeah. so that's a new too yeah or you still different. you still have like your class ups but it's not as like you don't have the branched paths like you did in some yeah another game. sign of its age is there's not very as many classes and they don't branch yeah hmm. which i mean i was kind of fine with it yeah like the weapon triangle stuff and that didn't like super bother me a lot of the much. stuff is uh the entire game wraps up to um it's good enough that i keep playing basically like nothing really wowed me about the game i i like the exploring dungeons bit which is new it's not just on a grid yeah i like that too. explore that was neat the maps are just so awful yeah the maps and are then, in my opinion the worst part even the world map kind of sucks because just random people spawn and go at you and some places after you like at least the terrors i think once you beat them and you leave that if you like want to go do a side quest they'll like respawn in that area yep and you it's gotta go very tedious through. yeah it is a little bit so, the, so God, i was gonna going. say Sorry. um the best part about the game is the polish. I think the voice acting yeah. is amazing. Yeah, that's what I, that's it, what, that's what I have in my likes. Yeah, too. I think the uh, best part is that the music is really good. Yep, the animation, the character models, like they improved the end game. It's the model. best localization too. I think they've ever done. Yeah, like, it is. Weird moments. Like the like, script is fun. Like yeah. I think, I think the um, in my opinion, like the more concentrated narrative does better than the. 
it's a very of, simple story. Yeah, it, it's it's simple, but it's it's about it's, Alm and Celica. Yeah, it's done well enough. The, other, the the Fire Emblem Fates games they have way too many characters. Mm-hmm. You See, get I way like too that. much screen time. I think I, not, the side characters are the ones I'm more interested in even in this game. The Alm and Celica oh, really? are kind of like they're very basic. Like I kind of I can already see their story from start to ending by the end of like the first chapter. Yeah, sure. It's like but, I wasn't uh, interested in that. I I think it's fine just because of the way they told the story and yeah. like the uh, the script, like because like you're saying, localizations like yep. good. It is a very tropey story, and yeah. you know all Fire Emblem games are to be honest. Like I don't super play Fire Emblem for the story. The other games are more as like pick your waifu and it has fun tactical combat. Yeah, um, like this one, I was like more pleasantly surprised with the narrative than mm-hmm. anything. I wasn't like exactly wowed by it, but I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. I expected it to be more like the other Fire Emblems where I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. There's always like an evil king that you have to fight. And there's oh, like yeah. A dragon the villains in this one, though, are the worst. They're just like the basic, like they're just basic comically evil. Like they're just, I don't know, they're evil for the sake of being evil, basically, it seems. That's almost like all the, at least the ones I play, all uh, yeah, the Fire Emblem games, it feels that way. Because it's like the king from Fire Emblem Fates, the guy of the not Japanese side, which is yeah. like comically evil for no reason, basically. Like, yeah, but that, I, just, that, I think that, it needs a better villain. Like, yeah, Fire Emblem could definitely yeah. use better villains with better yeah. motivations. Oh, I hope they, I hope they do more with the series in the future, like with that. Because yeah. honestly, like, they have like basically the fun combat down, right? I think they should just really yep. focus on characters and story. Like what more so. I would I also I the contri- the weird contrived children from the last two games is like the first time it's like okay time travel the second the fates it's like we go live in this random yeah other part of the country where time speeds up it's like, yeah Ooh. it's dumb so bad yeah so um, you don't have to worry about that in this one because nope. there's not like the what you don't I marry do, all the characters or anything I kind of like the uh, I w- I do wish there were more between these characters again because I like sure. the side characters I wish there was more of the social stuff yeah I could uh, see that I don't care about the marrying stuff but it also it was cool to, to that you could like yeah and it was cool that you could have any character have like a social link for lack of a better term with another character which isn't in this game yeah so, because the ones that do have social links if they're closer together they get a slight boost of stats yeah. we've covered like all my likes i guess for games some dislikes i want to say that we haven't really touched on we already said maps are frustrating they all basically boiled down to like there's a bottleneck that you have to get past in the map and there's usually like archers and mages that will hit you while you're trying to get your characters through the bottleneck and it's just literally over and over and over again i don't you haven't beaten the game yet right mal no i think i still need i'm at the end of chapter four yeah so you're you're almost done yeah um the last fight is super dumb it has a dumb mechanic that the game doesn't hint at you at all. So it's like something you literally just have to figure out through trial and error. Mm. Um, I oh. lost like two hours of my game last night to it. So uh, I, I will bring up something else they added because I think you're about to talk about, or you're maybe mentioned the criticals that you hate. Um, yeah, I didn't. Well, that's in all the Fire Emblem games, I think. Right. But it felt like I got critted a lot in this game. They use like a more pure randomness, I think, in this game. But they added because criticals definitely suck. And um, as long as it's not on your two main characters, because that's a game over, they have it um, uh, introduced uh, Mila's turn wheel, mm-hmm. which is um, you can rewind the game. Um, you have a limited use of it as that grows over the course of the game if you find certain items. But uh, you can activate it and then you can rewind if you make some really big mistake. Yeah. And it's really helpful in this game. Now, I was misusing it, which Mal. <laughs> me on last fight because you can go he's back like, for like ever i think yeah he's like you could have rewound that whole turn and i was like uh and then it helped me a lot when i had to figure out the mechanic on the last spot yeah but still so yeah there's that some of the character motivations towards the end of the game just don't make any sense in my opinion you'll come mm-hmm. on to this i can't oh, really say anything without spoiling. another part of the because of the main story in the villains it's like i just i hate the I guess it's trope where like royalty think they're so superior to common people for yeah. really no reason. That's a big theme of the game. Too. Yeah, Alm's story is all about that, and it just yeah. I hated it because ex- yeah, especially because of some other stuff. But it's just so bad. As has been established, Mao is the top twenty RPs cannot do anything bad, or in the plays the like the video games. He doesn't make the bad choices. What? So oh yeah, yeah. He can't be renegade. Not, yeah, so the story is. <laughs> I understand why that would rub you the wrong way, definitely. It's, 
It's just so stupid. Yeah. They're like, we're blue blood, so we should be superior in everything. And they don't even, like, there's no reasoning for it. Why? Like, yeah. it's just such a bad use of, I don't know, the trope they and do be- They could do better writing. Yeah. Like, that one character, they kind of try to give you, like, an explanation, but it's still not really good enough. Yeah, he's actually, I, I think, one of my favorite villains, but he's tied yeah. to that whole ro- ro- royalty thing. Yeah. And then, like we said, it it's definitely shows signs of being an old game. Yeah, it's 25 still, years old. But I still think, like, I haven't played all the Fire Emblem that have come out. Like, obviously, the Wii ones, I still want to play those. And I hope they, like, re-release them eventually. But I haven't played a lot of the DS ones. I don't think I played one of the DS ones. Yeah, I played all the Game Boy Advance ones. Not, now I played all the 3DS ones. It's still this one's still my favorite, just a wow. little bit. The map is just I don't too think, bad for me. Yeah, I, I don't think do any it. of the. I actually like the story, but I I tend to like tropey stuff. Right, like your memes. Yeah, I like my memes. So would not give this to someone who wants to start with Fire Emblem. No, it's definitely it's not starting. Not a Fire Emblem game, or yeah. at least not like the rest. I, I'd say anyone to start with Awakening, probably. Yeah. I think it's this for me, then Fate's Revelation is right mm. below it. Yeah, like, I know, like, yeah, it's, because you have, you have, like, the story aspect, and then the gameplay aspect, and there's different sides. Like, Conquest is considered, like, one of the best mechanically games, but its story and characters are just trash. Yeah. So, it's, like, there are different parts, like, what are you looking for, I guess, but you know, out of this one, I would want them, I would like it if they would keep, the dungeons were cool, I would keep I would make it. Yeah, another I think they should. I think they should keep that. And I like I, I like weapons and there's like weapons having skills. I thought was pretty cool. I'd yeah. do that again. I like that. Right. I like would. I'd like them to tie it less to class. Have the class be more like your stat progression and stuff like that, and keep mm-hmm. the weapon part just to like make them a little different. Maybe have like base abilities on the classes, but not give you like the skills as you level up. I know that would be like a really hard left turn from other yeah. Fire Emblem games. I think the weapon thing's so cool. That's a mechanic from Final Fantasy IX, too. That's my right. favorite Final Fantasy game, so I'm obviously going to be biased towards that. Um, and then I like the turn wheel stuff, too, just because yeah. I play these games now. Um, I'm older, and I don't have, like, I just, I don't have the time to lose two hours, really, on a regular basis. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. So being able to correct a stupid mistake without having to like, you know, waste hours of my time is just something I've come to appreciate. And it's there for people who want it and there. And if you don't want to use it, you don't use it. I think Fates is a better game, but this one was just, I liked it a little bit more. I give this like a seven, probably. I haven't played the older handhelds in a long time, but in my, in recent, my recent, because I've played everything that's been in the U.S. except for like the, um, the Wii games. And yeah. GameCube game. But this is my least favorite in recent history. That will probably be a consistent theme where Mal and I have different tastes. So that's, yeah. <laughs> that's I've been just, such an I, I still like the game. I've just become yeah, a lot yeah. more critical in the last couple of years of the things I want to really like. Is is Mao and Ob's gonna be our yin and our yang? Basically. <laughs> we gonna established be, that already. We, must find we have very similar tastes, but at the same time, <laughs> it's, we also it is don't weird. Like it is weird. You guys we, like the same thing, but the things like about similar, those things. <laughs> yeah. We like so, similar things, but we like what sets stuff apart for us is different. Right. In the game. Like Mal doesn't like trophy stuff, whereas I like dep- I fan like well used tropes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'll I will like a trope just because it's a trope and it's there. Whereas Mal, yeah, he would want more out of it. Right. So what I'm especially hearing heavily that used Mal's ones. The, Mal's the yin and Ob's is the yang is what I'm hearing. We'll go with that. <laughs> but yeah, like I don't know, and I understand this. This game is, would have been a, uh, is a, it's a, it's older, so the story mm-hmm. is 25 years old. So. It feels like an NES game. That's been yeah. The story so, isn't amazing for its or like yeah. in current against current times. So it sounds like from you it would be a recommend, but only to Fire Emblem fans, right? Yeah, I would not give this to a new and a person. I, I, I would agree with you. I would agree with you completely. There. At least not. At least without, unless I gave him the caveat is don't expect this to be like other Final Fan, or Fire Emblem games. Yeah, it's it's very different. So yeah.